It is through. All right, new game. I don't know why it says continue. I haven't played it at all, but... Uh, is there any- we're not gonna use amiibo, even though I have all of them, by the way. I have- I have the entire, uh, Breath of the Wild amiibo collection. Still in packages. I haven't opened any of them. Yeah, I haven't played it. I haven't played it at all. Camera sense to- uh, well, you know, well, is there- the only thing I'm worried about is there motion blur. I don't want any kind of motion blur, because that is uncomfortable, so. We'll leave everything as, uh, just standard. De default, and we'll- we'll go from here. New game. Overwrite preview. There shouldn't be any save preview. I- I did- so I did start the game, but I w I walked away from it, and then I went back to the menu. So that's probably what it's what it's looking for. Yeah, I have I have every single one of the uh, the Breath of the Wild amiibo. I haven't opened them. Auto save every few minutes. Okay. All right, guys. First blind run. Mo it'll mostly be blind, right? Of Breath of the Wild. Should I turn my camera off for immersion for this cutscene? It starts with a cutscene, doesn't it? That much I'm aware of. Breath of the Blind, that's right. That is correct. Thank you, Lava. Appreciate you, bud. Clean stream, yep. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. I always wonder how Link gets himself into these positions. Like, how did he end up in this pool of water? Do we ever find that out? I'm kind of curious. I'm a little bit curious about it. Like, how in the world did he end up here? Why is he laying there in that... In this alien containment unit? With, uh... You'll see. Okay, you'll see. Okay, good, good, good. I, I am interested. Not clean shaven. I was close to shaving today, honestly. I know it sounds appalling for me to shave, but honestly, I was really considering it. Sincerely considering it. How's audio, guys? Audio good? Alright. Camera's here. Seems pretty straightforward and standard. Do we get to roll? Do I get to roll already? Oh, there's a run bar. Oh, baby. That, that makes a lot more sense to me, honestly. It's a little soft, okay. Thorlina, how are you? Happy Easter. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. It looks like a Wii U gamepad. <laughs> Sheikah Slate. Mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never been- you've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Alright. Cool. Look at all this alien technology. <laughs> like how he goes to grab a sword, but there's nothing there. And a jump button. There it is. Well-worn trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> Legs are a bit short, though. All right, so we got to equip everything. Got it. Okay. Uh, fabulous. What's up, Luscious? How you doing, brother? Old shape. Oh, we get to throw barrels without a- well, or just drop them carelessly, I guess. It's, it's the same thing. Oh, throws with the R trigger. Oh, interesting. This is gonna be a, a change for me. Not throwing immediately with the same button that you picked up with? Definitely a, a change of pace, for sure. 
Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Let me show you the way. Two-factor authentication. Picked up Star Wars Jedi, uh, Jedi Fallen, uh, Fallen Order yesterday. Let me say the game is amazing. That one's kind of uh, low-key on my list as well, Jay. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Okay, mysterious voice coming from seemingly nowhere. A little double jump action. Pretty cool, man. Game is gorgeous. By the way. Yeah, very picturesque. I like it a lot. Oh my god, that music is so good too. Holy smokes, man. This is this is what I'm looking for. This is exactly the experience I've been looking for. That Wind Waker was great. Twilight Princess looked like it was great also, but just in a different way. This is like this is exactly what I'm looking for. I can tell already. Got ourselves a tree, tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't appear to do- it doesn't do much damage, but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Alright. hey yeah. Just got a game chub. I mean, perhaps. The tree branch is badly damaged. Well, that's unfortunate. We got here some mushrooms. Hylian shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around our high rule. He just restore half a heart. Oh. Look at this, man. Look at this landscape. And I bet it's all traversable, too. This isn't like some pre-rendered stuff. I mean, it probably is pre-rendered in this particular shot, but I bet it you seamlessly run from one spot, like, way out in the distance. I'm sure you can do that, right? That's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. Can we bonk these chicken? All right, I know I need to get on track here, but I just, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of just digging this real, real quick here. May as well grab these, right? I mean, we're bound to need them at some point. Can we- we can switch. It's kinda neat. What in the world? Hightail lizard. A lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but, uh, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. Okay. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Take it in. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Can we roll? Is there a roll button? Hang on a second. I thought I picked up that other branch. Hang on a second. Let's uh key items. Weapons. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. That's kind of neat. I figure we can... Hang on a second. Can I, uh, can I throw this at this here? You can. Okay. Picking up stuff. Collecting and gathering. I like it. Hello, we got old man. Oh, literally is old man, too. Oh, ho, ho, well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. <laughs> you know what that really means, all right, chat? Oh. Answering a question with a question, huh? I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. 
Oh, he's getting up. I like the lantern on the walking stick. Very OG wanderer of him. That temple there long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it's, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity. A mere entity. Come on, we can't get, get away from that, can we? A mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Thanks, fella. What's this? A torch. Alright, cool. Well then, just help yourself to- <laughs> We're just taking all of his stuff. Well then, just help yourself to my stuff there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? Uh, to set things on fire. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass much it might catch fire. Dropping hints, chat. Uh, you know there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon if need be. However, do not swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock them in your sights. Is this more uh, more L targeting Asudientes? More L targeting? Yeah. Okay. What is this? Is this a is this a weapon we can wield? Is this a big axe? Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Okay. I'll do that. Woodcutter's axe. The woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. It's formidable weight and uneven balancing. Make it a slow and efficient weapon. I'll use it. I mean, I will. You know? Okay, so we are going here. It wants us to go here. I kind of want to... I kind of want to swing this axe around a bit just to kind of see what happens. Can we cut down an actual tree? Hang on. Let's I got to see this really quick. No, with one swipe too, chat. Get wrecked, tree. All right, that's that's pretty cool. You can interact with the environment. This is a Deku. Oh, it's an acorn. It, it's just literally what it looks like this time. It's not a Deku nut or anything like that. Sounds like a good fit for me. <laughs> Slow and inefficient. Yeah, trust me, I get it. Often found on the on the ground near trees, squirrels off adore this nut. So you may have to competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. No pun intended. Or is there? I'm genuinely surprised that you can interact with the environment like that. Never before, chat. Not like that. Not not like into that uh, degree. Yeah. <laughs> that little run when he's going down the hill, though. This is pretty cool, man. I like it. I like it so far, and I haven't even really seen anything of it yet, you know? I beg your pardon? Oh, hi. Ow. I see what they mean about slow and ineffective now. <laughs> Get wrecked. A boco club. A crude bob. How, how do you say that? Bokoblin? Bo Bokoblin? Bokoblin? Let's see what you guys have to say about that. About that enunciation. Made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Got it. Hey, Junie. Yeah, so, okay. So, as I mentioned in my, uh. What is this gentleman here? Uh. Twilight Princess was not, um, was not fitting the vibe I've been looking for. This, I can already tell, will do it for me. A gelatinous substance that came from a, uh, choo-choo. It's unusable in the state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Lovely. Absolutely fabulous. All right, let's go to, let's, let's go to our objective. I like that, man. That axe is cool. I know it's not going to hold up, but pretty cool. And you have a little endurance bar? Man. Such a big departure from what we're used to, right, guys? Let's collect all the apples. Can you do anything else with the tree after that? Does not- oh, you get wood. What do you need wood for? A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire. <gasps> no, it's a real adventure, chat. We're going on a real adventure here. How very exciting. 
debunked. Man, so neat, dude. So neat. Let's go get into some more combat situation here so I can practice with this a bit. I keep pressing, I want to, I keep wanting to press Y to run. It's B. What are these uh, sparkly bits? An arrow. <gasps> we have to beat the first dungeon to get the bow? I suspect we're about to acquire an answer right now. Okay, that was pretty cool. Super neat. A horn. Severed horn of a, bo uh, how do you say it, Genie? Bokoblin. A bokoblin, a creature often in, uh, encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It is inedible, but can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Got it. How very interesting. I called it, I mean, it seems pretty effective to me, chat. It seems mightily effective to me. How do you, how do you dodge and strafe? Okay, so that's the swing. This thing's not gonna hold up if I keep slamming it on the ground like that. A traveler's S word. This might be more of what we need right here, guys. Very common sword, often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Well, that's no good. Throw a weapon. Oh, okay, got it. We kinda knew that already. Bow Coblin Fang, a tooth obtained from a- Man, there's so much loot already, too. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Tons of stuff. And another horn as well. Neato gang. Very, very cool. Yeah, wow. Wow, this game. Literally be a tutorial for every question you have asked. Okay, good. What's this? A Boko shield. A Bokoblin made shield created by attaching a handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so I don't expect it to last very long. Raise your shield. I bet you can't when you're, uh, when you've got a, uh, a two-hander, right? Kind of seems that way. I wonder if it protects your back if you have your back to an enemy. All right, let's check this out here. That's kind of cool then. You got something for your for your back. Oh, looks like we gotta go down here. I have to be careful of fall damage too now, right? Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for fall. Oh, good. Okay. I like how I just knew. By the way, it's going to be very dangerous. Watch out for falling rocks. Who knows how long it's been there, you know? Highly in wildlife shooketh. So cool, man. So very cool. But what do they do? What do they mean? Great Plateau Tower. What do you have to say for yourself, Tower? Distilling local information. Sounds very moist, doesn't it? Very moist chat. Literally is moisture. <laughs> it didn't look like it would be, but it Whoa. certainly is. Okay, so we're here. Regional map extracted. Very moist indeed. 
Remember. Try. Try to remember. I'm afraid I don't. I'm sorry. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. That doesn't look good, guys. Doesn't look good at all. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Hylian Moonshine? Yeah. Before it's too late. Pretty cool. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed, chat. Very, very impressed so far. And we've only just started. Okay, so... Uh, when you inserted your Sheikah slate in the pedestal marked on the map, a giant tower erupted toward the- toward upward- upward toward- from the ground, carrying you high into the air. I don't know why I read the word toward, it's like I wanted it to be there and it wasn't. From Hy Hyrule Castle, off in the distance, you hear the woman's voice speaking to you again. Okay. Check this out real quick. So we probably want to go, what, here? The Shrine of Resurrection? We can fast travel, right? Look at how big this land is. Holy cow. We go, I'm assuming we go through to all these places as well. Eastern Abbey. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not entirely sure where to go yet. I'm assuming maybe we should go to the area marked. Maybe. Lost his house yesterday. It's Renita. Oh my gosh. The weather here has been, has been crazy, Jay. It's been absolutely nutty. She's telling you to hurry, but you can take your time. Listen, we need you to go as fast as you can comfortably go. No, I want to go down. Can I, can I climb down from here? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that works too. I'm worried about breaking my legs on these falls. Even that fall would hurt pretty badly. Uh, hello? This gentleman. This jovial gentleman again. We helped ourselves to his uh, torch and his axe. <laughs> my, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after, the, uh, after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. You do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well, no. A voice, you say? Did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I mean, not really. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle? That is a Calamity Ganon. That is Calamity Ganon. Okay. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the Kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment, it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. You know, this kind of has that cell shaded art style too. Really, really good, guys. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? <laughs> Obviously. Why else would we have been awoken from our hundred-year slumber, old man? I had a feeling you'd say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded by, on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no, de no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. Should we threaten this gentleman? Oh no, certainly not. Why not? Or he said, oh ho. <laughs> But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Ooh, a trial. Hand it over, pops. Adventure log. Ooh, I love a good adventure log as much as the next gentleman on Twitch. After your descent from the tower, the old man has told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. Yeah, we knew that. You heard it. The old man said he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. Uh, okay. 
me show you something. Lead on, sir. I'm starting that. Yeah, Kenneth, I am. Uh, the reason why is because I was looking for more comfortable, chill, relaxing vibes. And for some reason, Twilight Princess, while it looked like an amazing game, it definitely had a more somber tone. And I wasn't interested in that somber tone. I wanted something that was a little bit more, I guess, kind of uplifting in a way. And this already is doing that for me. So Twilight Princess seems like an incredible game and we will get back to it at some point. But right now is just not that time. I feel like we need more comfy vibes, more chill vibes in here. Um, definitely just want something a little bit more relaxing and that appeals to, uh, that side of me that's looking for just kind of an escape right now. You know what I mean? Uh, do you see that structure there? The one shining with that strange light? I sure do. Begin glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Let's go, chat. Let's do it. Let's go do it, guys. But by the way, everybody who's here in chat lurking as well, um, thank you guys very much for coming in. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend this weekend. I apologize for yesterday. Just wasn't really up to a Saturday morning stream. Just kind of wanted to hang out and relax. So we'll pick up Luigi's Mansion next weekend, hopefully. Um, I've learned not to promise streams. Uh, and we'll just I'll just say that we're, we'll, we'll shoot for it. And we'll try our best and... Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, uh, we'll make it up another time. All right, let's see what we got cooking over here. I thought it was from a distance. I actually thought there was like something on fire over here. But yeah, now that I get closer, it looks like just a, uh, a strange glow. Oh man, oh shrine. Can't lift that. Okay, we probably just put our tablet in here, right? Let me just scan it. It's an RFID built in. Easy. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Oh man, a shrine. <laughs> travel gate registered to map. It's a travel gate. Access granted. Well, it becomes a fast travel, right? I'm assuming. Very well, Junie. How are you? Very, very well. How was Easter? How was the little bugs Easter? Pretty solid. Some trick. Check the screen for a hint. Okay, yeah, that's typical. Oh, you can tilt it. See, I'm playing on a on the Joy-Con controller, so I need to get a Pro controller for this, but I can't find one. If anyone finds a uh, Pro controller for the for the Switch, let me know. I ch I've been checking Amazon, and every time I check it, it's not available. Magnesis trial. Ooh, what's this? We should probably. Use a consumable, right? That's a very refreshing apple. All right, what do we got here? You know what? Maybe I should also up equip the uh, the S word. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Looks like constellations of stars. First glance. I'm miserable for all oh, female. Got it, got it, got it. Your AC bro. Oh, no. I, I can sympathize with that. You can eat almost anything in this game. It's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Almost anything is eatable or edible. Okay, what's this over here? We can scan the tablet here. Trying to take in the lay of the land here. Sheikah's a slate authenticated distilling ruin. Every, it's, everything's a distillery here. It's like I'm in Louisville. Every time I have to, sir. Roast the apple for more hearts. Good tip. Thank you. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab on to the metallic objects using magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis ruin. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. I see. Got up to 82 in our house. Oh no. You didn't have to replace anything, did you? I hope. Activate. Let me see. Uh... That's kind of 
mean? It's pretty cool, chat. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, broken capacitor. That stinks. Well, I'm glad you guys got it taken care of. Hopefully it wasn't too costly. You know how much our new furnace costs? Our new furnace that would be as the, the result of the uh, the power surge that we had. You know how much we had to pay for that? We'll get reimbursed for it, but you know how much it costs? Like five thousand dollars. <laughs> like a th five thousand bucks. This is uh this is pretty neat, guys. I like this. Pretty cool. That was just the furnace, though, keep in mind. That was not the air conditioner as well. Oh, can you actually just push this through? Look at that. Screw a screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show any signs of wear. Wow, that would be great in real life. The puzzles are going to get very difficult as the game goes on. If you can't tell already, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Very, very cool. Very cool. That's like a, I did a crouch in a, inadvertently. You can raise that up too. That's kind of neat. Hang on a second. Wait just a minute. I wonder. You can't do it while you're on it, right? Is that the uh, the thing? Let me in. Everything looks so cool in this game. I really do love it. Do they deliver though, Jay? I guess they would, right? Alejo, how are you? Ooh, fancy. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. We know, we know. I am, oh man, oh. <laughs> Creator of this trial. We haven't even gotten started, right? I'm the humble monk, blessed with the sight of, the, of goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Okay, cool. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Watch, it's like a paraglider all along. The Spirit Orb. Screaming zombie from One Waker. Oh yeah, that's right. He does look a little bit like that, except the hair. He just absorbed it right into his chest. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. This really wasn't much of a challenge. I mean, not yet anyway. I'm, I'm assuming there's a, another element of difficulty here, right? Sneak. We can sneak, huh? Stamina oil that I'm familiar with, yes. That's it. That's all it was. Whoa! Where is he at? I hear him. Oh, there he is. Flying around again. Rubbing it in. <laughs> How did you know? Clairvoyance. Oh, or perhaps just something similar. <laughs> this guy. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh ho ho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Paraglider, please. Let's go. I have yet to finish speaking. Oh man, this guy. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. 
The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it was. So, so it is said. Be good if I could read tonight. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that uh, survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you the paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Man, do we got hustled. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. But you make your way to the top of that tower again. Alright, that's fine. I'll be agreeable. I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave uh, from where you woke, the shrine uh, you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. It's wonderful. Welcome back, Blue. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Mm. Got it. What can we do with this here? Can we do something cool with this? Holy cow, man. Look at how much how high you can lift that off the ground. That's wacky. Can we go bonk the guy into giving us the paraglider? Chat. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> we bopped him. I think he really enjoyed that, though, didn't he? <laughs> Alright. We smashed it. What's inside? A baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. What else do we get? A roasted... Roasted bass. A bass that's been cooked over a, an open flame. It's flaky and savory smelling. Offers more hearts than the raw version. Hey, well, there we go. Okay, let's see. Where are we off to? So this is the Great Plateau Tower. That's where we were. So he, he told us to go ahead and survey the uh, the place, right? It's the Magnesis Trial. So we did that. All right, so let's go here. Let's see if we can actually fast travel as speculated. There was a chest in the water. Oh, rip. There was a chest inside the, uh, the sh the, where the trial was too. I didn't get that one either. Yeah, this, how did this guy get here now? We literally insta-traveled and he beat us here. I'm surprised it took you so long to kill. How did you... Leave an old man to his secrets. It's the old Link. Wait, is it you? Is it you, but years later? I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. There's a scope? No, I didn't know that. You could stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. I see. You can always revisit the shrine. Yeah, we can go back to it, right? I got it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. I do, in fact. Can we, uh, zoom? There's no zoom. Oh, we're about to fall off this thing, aren't we? No, okay. No, let's, let's, uh, let's get an examination here. Can we take a selfie with, like, the monsters in the background like we did in Wind Waker? That was really a good time. Alright, so there's one right there. It looks to be, right? Okay, there's one. Kind of, sort of seems to be, anyway. There's no zoom, though. Which is kind of a bummer. That's where we came out of, right? There's another... Okay, so there's one there, and then there's one there. So let's go ahead and just mark those now. Hopefully we can... Keep those up there, right? Yeah, there we go. Well, cool. and actually, this is a little bit, this is a little bit touchy. Oh, cool. You can actually, like, tilt it and everything. That's kind of neat. I like that. That's cool. You can take selfies? No. I don't want to do it. 
All right, so let's go back. Let's go back. Were those not? Oh, those are ones off the plateau, right? Okay, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's too, that's too weird. There's a the camera feature. <laughs> that's funny. Luscious, uh, I think it triggered Luscious a little bit with my selfie taking. <laughs> What are we getting for this, for our effort here? Is it, uh, do we get like 10 bucks? We're we getting 10 American dollars? How do you swim? Or we're just not on the correct side. Okay, let me see if we can open it from here. It's made of metal, isn't it? Is it made of metal? It is now? Oh, yeah, it is. What do we get? Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramel-esque sheen to it. It has been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Fabulous. That's kind of cool. It seems, uh, that I could waste the- oh. What happened to me? <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, quicksand or something of the like. Seems dangerous. Two chests. I wonder if we can borrow... Oh, let's do this. Let's see if we can borrow some of these guys here. I'm sorry, what is that noise? the older gentleman again? What happens if we put this here? Okay, so we can build a- we can build a platform of sorts. I don't know if that's the right place to do it, but... multiple we'll try to leapfrog it here okay. <laughs> we're really good at video games so you know Oh, that's right. You have to jump. That's right. I'm sorry. That's a, that's a new one for me, chat. The whole jumping aspect in a Zelda game is totally new for me. Thank you for the reminder. I totally forgot. In, in no other Zelda game do I recall ever being able to jump. Like that even being a possibility. Like you jump by just running forward. Flooksy, Flooksy, how are you? Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. How's, uh, how has, um, Animal Crossing been treating you guys, for those of you guys who are playing? Pretty well, I assume? Dude, seriously? This is so touchy. Yeah. I'll have to remember that. Uh, hello? Get out of here. That was close, chat. I think we need more blocks. I think we need more blocks, guys. Oh. You don't need a block at all. Okay. 
Well, I feel silly. Unless we have to stack them up here, maybe that's how we do it, right? It's getting very windy out here. That's not what I wanted. Do the D-pad to push and pull the metal. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, I didn't even notice that. It says right at the bottom, I just didn't notice it. Are these made of metal? No, they're not. They're made of wood. They're wooden chests. Do I, do I stack these up? Like, do I go get a couple more and stack them up here and jump across to them? Or is there a better way? I don't want to be doing... Like, I could literally spend, like, so long, like, wasting so much time trying to do these types of little puzzles and, st and stuff. There's something else in the pond you can use. Let me grab another one of these guys and just make sure, you know. Oh, I almost dropped that right on my own head. Waste as much time as you want. Yeah, but I'm still trying to respect your uh, your guys' experience as you watch. If I was just playing this by myself, it would be a different story, you know? Uh, I did not mean to do that. I can't, like, grab on. It's not what I intended, chat. Not what I intended. Why, uh, are you kidding me right now? Come on, chat. <laughs> I better eat something, man. I'm gonna die if I don't. What's up, Lola? Don't you cringe at me, sir. How dare you? <laughs> Fly, how you doing, man? Ice arrow? Ooh, fancy. I didn't grab the bow, though. I didn't get a bow from that, that one gentleman. And fire arrow. Man, they're starting us off quick with this stuff, huh? Uh, yo, Alejo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome. Instead of dropping, use the controls to gently place it down. I like to be rough and rugged with the uh, items I'm finding out here. All right, the rip. <laughs> that's uh, that's very nice. It's very very nice. There's a pin. Okay. Let's should we head our head our head out that way or should we you know what here let me I'm sorry, hang on a second. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, chat. Bow coblin arm, a skeletal arm that keeps moving. What so why hang on, why are they undead at at night? There's a bow. Fabulous. Cool. Yeah, I like how they tell they like rip. <laughs> this is 1000% uh, percent of game meant for world exploration. Take your time exploring is how you'll find some of the best parts of this game. Okay. I appreciate that uh, that input. Do people- is there a speedrunning community for this game, by- by chance, like, just out of curiosity? The lady did tell us we need to hurry, to be fair. She did, in fact, say that, yes. That's 100% true. 
There's a huge speedrunning community for this. How fast do people typically get through a game like this? And how and how enjoyable is it to spectate that? 28 minutes just start to finish. That's like any percentage though, right? That's like the bare minimum uh, components to finish the game. It's a glitch fest. I see that's not as fun for me. I like like pure runs, you know what I mean? That's just me personally. All right, let me see where uh, we dropped a couple pins, but obviously the uh, the couple that I did drop are outside of the plateau. So that's an issue like this one, for example, is outside. We can't get to that. I'm assuming. Let me look at the uh, the map again. So this one is there are three more three more shrines in here, right? So this one. We can just travel to this one, right? This is where we this is where we woke up, correct? Is that that's where we woke up? For the Legends of Zelda was set by a lack attack. 27 minutes and 40 seconds. Huh. These are all so this area, like basically we just need to find okay, so these are all inside. Okay, got it. What was that big wall that we were about to fall down a second ago? Let me go. Hey, let me go back here. That's wild, man. I had no idea that people were were cruising through it that that quickly. That's nutty. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's also a little bit like, I don't know. If it's full of um, if it's full of glitches and things like that, that's a little less appealing to me. All right, so this is where we woke up. I think this would be, it would be more to our advantage to start from here instead. Tree branch, okay, hang on a second. So we are here. Let's see, there's this big drop off here. So how are we supposed to get down here? For the dead. It seems like I'm surrounded. Well, we can, let me go down and see. That was where we were. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my bearings here a little bit. Pardon me while I do so. Is he still over there? He's not there now. Oh, he's down by his campfire now. Interesting. Can you climb down these walls? These uh these mountainsides? Oh, let's go this way. You can, okay. Woodland creatures. Wisps? We better grab these mushrooms. I'm sure I will need them. And the acrons too. How are we looking now? We're moving. Uh, okay, so we're moving kind of in the right direction. Kind of, sort of. I mean, there's the mountain that I thought we weren't going to get past, so. Let's keep heading this direction and see what we can, uh, what we can shake loose here. It's pretty cool, man. It's, it's cool that there's a day and night cycle, too. And it looks like there's also a, a temperature. So we have to be mindful of temperatures too, is that right? That is pretty neat. Hyrule Herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. It's like Resident Evil rolled in here too. Can we go into this water? Oh, I sense there's danger nearby. Oh, come on.
Oh man, there's a bunch of dudes here. Critical hit, huh? I wish I had a different uh, means with which to aim. We can't carry any more. Okay, got it. So there is a limit. You can use the motion controller to tilt the controller. Oh, that might be better. Because I'm using uh, this. I'm using this guy because I don't have a um, pro controller, which is what I would prefer. You can have different bows as well. That's kind of neat. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> I'm figuring it out, guys. Can we cut his uh, little perch down? You cannot. Okay, good to know. Everything's becoming badly damaged. This is very unfortunate, guys. Okay, that didn't really hit him, but it's fine. Will we get a chest for that? We got something for that. Let me grab the meat. A large haunch of meat. Seared steak, I like it. Ms. Izzy, how are you? Don't get attached to any weapons. Everything breaks so fast. Good to know. I like this woodcutter's axe. It is. It looks like it's going down pretty quick, though. An opal. A valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Okay, so... There's a lot of button presses, too, that I'm having to try to remember how to manage. Oh, there, there goes the, uh, the axe. Whoops. Okay, so it looks like the right arrow, I can cycle through weapons. Got it. Blue Nightshade, a plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule at night. It gives off a soft glow and increases your stealth. Nice. Weapons are easy to find. Yeah, I mean, I'm picking them up left and right like crazy. Grabbing them all and see them in place for stronger stuff. Can do. Can do. Ms. Izzy, how you been? You doing okay? Uh, let's check the map. All right, we're going the wrong way, chat. We're going the wrong direction. You really don't have a whole lot of stamina. I'm assuming this grows later on. Can't pick this up, can I? No. I bet if I had the, uh, the axe, I'd be able to cut through that. Doing by best we can. That's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. Try our best. <laughs> nice, Thorlina. What does the top button do then? Oh, that's right. Okay. Whistling for things. We get a horse later too, correct? Epona. Looks like there is a campfire of sorts. Came to get it all. Back to Lurkin. Sounds good. You can pass time by the fire. Um, I don't want to do that actually. But we can. Can we cook here? We can cook here, right? Hang on. Where's my inventory? Hold. 
How do you how do you bake this? Do you just drop it into a fire? I bet you need like a stick or something, right? Do I need tips? Next to the fire. Yeah, you can cook it, right? Do you just drop it into the fire? That was kind of my question, I guess. Hold. And then... Drop. Okay, there it is. So, okay, so you just drop it, you literally just drop it into the fire. Got it. Okay. Hold. Yo, Remy, thank you for the host, brother. Appreciate that, man. How are you, dude? How was your stream? Bug effects add to food, too. Man, there's so much to learn. We might as well bake all these apple up. Remy, thank you very much, man. Everybody coming in with my buddy Remy. Welcome in. My name is Ape Fist. We are trying Breath of the Wild for the first time. It is going to be interesting. Oops. Wrong button. It's kind of weird that you don't have to set up any sort of cooking apparatus, you know? Was good beating my face into Ultra Nightmare. Oh, really? I thought about Doom. I thought about Doom, but I was like, I have so many games right now that I just need to play what I've got. But what I've got is I happen to be uh, happy about, so. Bacon apples. You will later, okay. Next, I was say the steak looked like it was like cooking on a spit or something. What's, what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> That's very fun. I love it. I love to see it, chat. You can cook. Oh, you can cook the mushrooms as well. Fantastic. Alright, let's let's try it out for ourselves. Can we cook the acrons too? Add one to a meal. So it's almost like it's just a it's a seasoning basically, right? We do have a lot of mushrooms. We could do that. Toasty highly and shroom. A highly and shroom toasted to perfection. The taste and fragrance are amplified, restoring more health to its consumer. <laughs> I wish you could uh, just kind of equip these in bulk, right? Hold. Can hold five. Oh. Oh, check that out. I even notice. Maybe I should just read more often, yeah? There it is. I dare. We, we're figuring stuff out, chat. We're doing it. What is. Uh, man, you know what? I tell you what. It's very difficult sometimes to read, all right? So don't judge me. Okay, so we need to go this direction. Now we can probably climb up here, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the stam for that. We can maybe climb here first. Let's try to do that. Can't wait for you to burn your first meal. Oh, I'm sure it'll be the be many. There'll be many of those. Oh, I'm gonna die here, guys. <laughs> Almost certainly. Come on, get up there, boy. Look, you're, we're perspiring. That is some pretty impressive climbing, I will say. Barehanded like that? Very impressive. Okay. Here you go, this direction. Yeah, I'm sure there will be many burned meals. Certain of it. Which pin am I doing? Uh, I was planning- see, I keep getting turned around. How can I lock my- my mini-map? I want it to not rotate with me. You know what I mean?
I'm jealous of me? Did it, oh yeah, I've, I've never played it before. Never played it. Oh yeah, we're, we're family friendly as well. Let's go. Oh, hi. They were throwing rocks at me. Spicy pepper? Not taking all your peppers. What else do we have here? It's the melon shroom. And another Hylian shroom as well. Can I light this thing on fire? How do we get up there? There is a torch here. There is a torch. Hang on a second. There we go. I incidentally found it. In trying to burn the place down, I found out how to get up here. Oh, uh, maybe I can't get up here. Oh, maybe we can. I can't tell yet. The jury's out. I'm probably gonna get fatigued. I don't even know if this is correct. Like slide out that way. Better, I'm just like I'm tilting wrong or moving wrong. The angle's bad. I have to use arrows. See, I would thought it'd be able to like grab on here, but I guess not. I don't have any arrows left. I didn't actually mean to do that either. There's a there's a uh, there's a a, a uh, chest up there which I kind of wanted. Man, their range is actually pretty far. Oh, yeah. well, look where it landed, too. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that down, unfortunately. Oh, hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I have, um, I have, the, like, the different arrows. I just remembered. Traveler's bow. And Boko bow. Can I, like... Oh, I'm gonna get bopped here. There we go. I think Traveler's Sword is pretty busted up. Dude, everything is broken. <laughs> everything is broken. You had the right idea, just uh, shoot the ropes with you. Yeah, okay. We screwed up chat. That's okay. There's going to be a lot of that, I'm sure. I wanted to burn the whole tree down with them in it. I mean, that sounds pretty horrible, I guess, but that's that was that was my play. That was that was what I wanted to do. How do we change? There we go. Okay. Okay, so now I have to tilt these, right? This actually seems a little bit more difficult to Aim, as a matter of fact. Okay. We did alright there. Just 
Just tilt the controller instead of the joystick. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Yep, and there's the cooking pot you guys mentioned a moment ago. Yikes, that guy's actually pretty strong. No, stop doing that. <laughs> Dude, that guy is super strong. All right, I think I know what to do now. I figured it out after some mistakes. After a couple mistakes, I think I figured it out. Yeah, blue guys are super strong. Yeah, those, those guys gotta go down first. Yeah, cause he bops me and he, he chunks me for like half to half health, like right away. <laughs> Pause me to eat and recover. Yeah, I need to do that. I'm trying to like get used to all the hotkeys and everything. Oh, that one missed. So did that one? Come on, seriously? Oh no, they're burning. Is it gonna burn enough though? There we go. Okay, cool. That's definitely not far enough. Oh, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> I don't have a weapon. Um, those are very fragile. This thing's about to go. I don't really have anything I can hit this guy with that's going to last a whole... Well, oh, last very long. Equip this really quick. Oh my gosh, these guys are crazy. All right, let's eat something. We're not gonna. We're not. I don't want to screw up this time. I keep hitting the uh, the butt, the wrong button to go crouch. Too. I don't want to do that. I keep doing it on accident. Is there another dude? Yeah, there's another dude down there. Here we go. Spicy pepper's fine. It's the spear that I'm looking for. Although it doesn't... Oh, no, I didn't want to burn that. Oh, yeah, I do. That works out just fine for me. I thought it would burn the uh, consumable also. There's all kinds of stuff down there, too. Yeah, I need to go gather that up. <laughs> Keep bopping him in the face. What else does he have? He's got arrows. That's perfect. Okay. He dropped some stuff here. Let's gather it up. Soldier's broadsword, that's considerably better. And a spiked shield, too. Some guts. Cool, man. Okay, well, we can cook some things up now, too, can't we? Uh, how can we, uh, can we light this? We can, okay. And there's, apparently, that's an attack and a, uh... Do we need water for this too? Do we need water for this this uh, this situation? I don't see any way to transport water. You don't? Okay. Uh, let's 
let's do. Let's see what we can put in here. Um, cook it with monster parts so we can hold, hold that as well. Uh, let's see, toss into a stew with some critters. Let's, let's just, let's mix up some things and see what happens. Let's, let's just see what happens. We'll put these three items in there. Oh, listen to those jams too, man. What's up, Brittle? We got ourselves a hasty elixir that lasts approximately three minutes and 20 seconds. Is this the new Animal Crossing graphics? Look awesome. How are you, man? Good to see you, bud. How you doing? All right, hang on a second. Um, Cook it before eating so we can cook these herbs. That's kind of gross. It's a little bit nasty. What else do I have in here? I don't have any other like raw cooking materials, do I? Like I don't have any meat or anything like that. All right, hang on, you know, we'll try it. Let's see what this does. Dubious food. <laughs> it's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you though, probably. Yeah, some slop, right? All right, let's see what else we can do here. No, I don't want to do that. I want to hold it. And Hy a Hyrule herb. What else? A spicy pepper as well. Let's cook these up and see what happens. This is fun. I like this. Spicy steamed fruit. Grants low level cold resistance, a regional dish made by steaming near ripened fruits in the leaves of fragrant plants. Last just under four minutes, guys. Just under four minutes. I wonder if we can hold two, add the herb, and an acorn. Let's see what, let's see what we get. This one lasts even longer than the, other, than the last one. Big brain cooking with Abe. That's right, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, hang on. We're not done yet, chat. Hold hold on to your butts. Cook it, increase your stealth. See, I don't know. Do you, Okay, so if we mix, let's, let's mix them up here. Uh oh. Fried wild greens. A basic vegetable dish made by sauteing fresh wild plants. Okay. Can't even heal that. I know, I know. We're uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves here, I think, a bit, chat. Hold. Let's try three of these guys with an herb. Let's just see what happens. There's so much to make. I know, there's so many un unknown combinations. Eight minutes of cold resistance. Oh, well, well. So, okay, so we need, for the horn, we need some more, it looks like, critters. Cook it alongside a critter, so we need to get some more critters. I could really just spend the entirety of my time in this game just doing this stuff. I could spend the entire time doing this. Uh, elemental, so hang on, let's, let's just drop this in. I want to see what this does on its own, by itself. Let's just do basic, some basic ingredients. Try in a minute, 10 minutes to get out oh, the grasshopper to catch those. Okay, so this is three minutes and it, it'll heal for the appropriate amount given the amount of hearts we currently have. All right, well, wonderful. This has been really good. This has been tremendous, in fact. And we're gonna need the cold resistance too, I suspect, because it looks awfully chilly over here, chat. I don't wanna, do, should I eat this? <laughs> We don't need to eat it, but it looks, uh, it's all pixelated. To the yellow ping. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yo, who's this? Hey, yo, it's T. Thank you for the follow. Hey, yo, it's T. It looks a bit, it looks a bit chilly here, guys. Find warm sooner, it'll take damage. All right, well, why don't we eat one of our spicy steamed fruits? Nom, 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 nom. We can tolerate this cold weather. Um, okay, I don't know how we're gonna do this here. 
Oh, it's cold, and I can't swim in this. Whoops, it is. I was, okay, so what I was trying to do, let me explain myself, chat. What I was trying to do is I was trying to jump on those little posts. It didn't work as I expected. Don't look at me like that, okay? I can feel your eyes. Looking, judging, shaming me. Oh, no. We gotta do it all over again? Well, that's just fantastic. I can, that's the problem. <sighs> Alright, we gotta bonk this nerd over here. Oh, sorry. The Joy-Cons are going a, a bit, a bit, a bit crazy. Bopped him. This thing's gonna break, but... Make it worth our while. The sound they make when they die is kind of funny to me. this also yep. all those spicy I, we have to get all the spicy peppers um actually i need to probably heal up now too Oh, he died. Nice. I forgot about these guys down here, too, so this actually made sense for us to come here and do this over again. Let me come back up here and make sure I claim, claim our treasure. You can save manually. Good to know. Thank you, Blue. I'll make sure I save this time. Amber. Oh, maybe we did pick this up before. Never mind. All right. So to save, uh, save. Perfect. Let's do that. Now we don't have to do it again. When I inevitably die in about two minutes time here, we'll be, uh, oh, <laughs> that was genuinely very disheartening. Uh, let's grab the torch. Okay. Let us do some cooking. Let's see, a green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release stamina restoration properties. Oh. Let's, uh, let's try to mix a couple things up here. Let's make a big pot of something. <laughs> Spicy steamed mushrooms. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna try to make stuff that I can use a little bit more efficiently for my- given my heart count. Yeah, see this one gives me cold resistance for three minutes too, which is good, and it doesn't over- like it's not- I'm not, um, Overhealing, you know, with this. So we'll just probably do it like this. 
Food can only have one effect if I'm not mistaken. That's good. That's good advice. That's a good tip. Um, okay, so... Like, for example, this nightshade here. Cook with, cook with it to increase your stealth. Like, it's not going to give me... I'm not going to get the uh, effect of increased stealth plus raised body temperature, right? I'm not going to get both of those. Okay. Get one buff. Okay, so I'm going to try one more thing here. So it says here... If I use two peppers... But one herb... Does it give me four hearts, or is this still going to give me three, but a longer duration of cold resistance? Four hearts. Okay, so it does both. It does both. Okay. I understand. That seems like more appropriate, because I want to be able to, to have it uh, the cold resistance last a little bit longer, I think, right? Let's see, the horn can be to make it make an elixir. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this does real quick. Hasty elixir. Will this uh will this do anything by itself? It says you need a critter with this. So these are these are pointless by themselves, right? You have to cook it alongside a critter of some kind. It would seem. Monster part arc. Okay. Spicy simmer fruit. Okay. I think we're good for now. I'm going to just hang on to this for a bit. Well, let's see here. Let's, let's, let's actually cook it really fast. I just didn't want an excuse to cook. Energizing mushroom skewer instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. But just a little chunk, huh? Okay. Well, that was still good. And it was definitely educational. For sure. Let's, uh, let's go this way. What do we have here? Oh, the fang and the horn. Okay, from that guy that died. Alright, that's a waterfall. I'm, I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to get across this. It looks like there's a way you might be able to get across up ahead also, but I don't... I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Rip. Okay, yeah. So, hang on a second. So, that's where the waterfall is. That's where that drops off. Let me go up here and see if we can get a little bit better of a look. Real fast. Can you repair stuff? I don't know if you can repair stuff. I haven't gotten to that part. It definitely breaks and you can re-equip something else. I doubt you would be able to repair a whole lot of your stuff because you're 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 so frequently repairing things. You know. There's a whole bunch of dudes here, too. I don't know if I really want to pick this fight right now. I've got some gear, but I'm not extremely confident in myself right now. I'm a little bit of a potato still, so I need to get a little bit more comfortable with the control scheme and just keep working on stuff. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't- I thought this was wood. I'm so- I'm so sorry. I thought this was wood. That's why I didn't think to use it already. chat pretty cool yeah it seems like you just uh, continually replace things that seems to be the uh, the way 
this is the way. I want to check out what's over here really fast before I go up. Up here. Actually, I don't even know if I can go up that side. I, I wasn't paying attention. You can go up here. Fix stuff you want to keep. I can see why you would... Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, what in the world? White choo choo jelly, a jiggly substance that came from an ice choo choo. It's cool to the touch and squeezing it seems to relieve stress. Struck it'll explode in a cold mist. Okay. Getting the stuff? Ice choos. Jeez. I see, yeah, I noticed that. Thank you. <laughs> I did in fact notice. Uh, let's put on the, uh, the old soldier's broad S word. Just being a smart aleck. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. At least I'm assuming we're getting close. Oh, hi. What in the world? Oh my god, that almost hit me. Get out of here. Ow. They're unequipped for this though, which is good. I'm gonna need to re-up. Oh, can I stand by this fire? Will that make it better? Ah, there we go. <laughs> if we just stay by the fire, we're okay. A seared steak as well? Nom nom nom. Alright, it's cold again. Uh, we will probably need to consume another one of these guys here. So I can explore. Pick up. I don't know if we're gonna need these for something, so I'm a little bit reluctant to start chucking them around carelessly, like I typically would. Carrying a lit torch, uh, oh really? Is that right? I'll have to test that. Mazizzi with all kinds of good tips. You just wait there, will ya? Alright, scan my PDA. My Hyrule PDA. By the way, guys, I just want to say, I'm absolutely loving this so far. This is such a cool game. Already smitten. Yep. Already. It's already got its hooks in me. Yeah, I don't, yeah, the, like I said, Pr Twilight Princess was, it looked wonderful, but it's, uh, it has a different mood to it. Oh, your wife was nice. No, 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 not like that. What's up, Megan? How are you? This game is awesome. I'm loving it so far. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Ke Nemut. I don't, probably didn't say that right. Yeah, this is super, super cool. Very excited. And it only gets better, I have no doubt about that. I know, and this is just all the tutorial stuff too. Very cool. Cryonis. Cryonis? Cryonis? Create a pillar of ice from water surface. Builds ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Pretty, pretty cool, man. I see why people think this is, uh, like, the best game ever. I'm not prepared to make a statement so bold yet, but I can tell you, like, this is... It's, there's clearly something very, very special about this. I don't- what if I don't want to make it- oh, I can climb up that. It's- it's surprising that I can... <laughs> it's surprising that you can grip onto a slick surface like ice like that, you know? Check that out. Check 
check that out, man. Ancient screw. Uh, we will need to lift this, right? It's saying like it's a, like a secret or something. That's pretty cool, man. Really, really cool. Elsa powers, that's right. Indeed. Ice? No problem. No problem. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. It's true. It's true. In the name of the goddess highly, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Is the chest down there? I'll check it out. I will investigate. This old guy wants to take our uh, our orbs, but they're in they're like in our bodies now. Right? And they gotta smile upon you. These things uh first four shrines are applicable in the entire world, by the way. I remember that. Yeah, typically uh, these games start to... I've noticed that um, later on in Zelda titles, there are a increasing number of instances where you are having to use multi multitudes of things that you acquire throughout the journey at once. So, for example, you wouldn't just use, like, for me, like being somebody who's really big on Link to the Past, you know that you're going to use the hammer in the... Uh, in the first Dark World Palace, right? Because you just get it. You know that's the weapon, but like in some of these games, it's like, all right, you have to use this that you got at this point, and then this that you got maybe a little bit later, and then a third component that you picked up like mid-game or something like that. <laughs> I'm using the boomerang. Listen, I like the boomerang, okay? I'm a big fan of the boomerang. Big, huge fan. What's the, uh, what's the button again? There it is. spear I like weapons I like acquiring weapons was there uh was there something else here that I missed was there anything else doesn't seem so. Oh, there's another one there. No, that was the one we just got. Okay, never mind. Usually just one tries to have shoot two chests. Yeah, I think we're good here. I think we're all set. I think we're all set to leave. How can you get rid of this? Like, if I wanted to get rid of this... We figured it out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Okay. We out. Alright. 
get back down here and get by the fire real fast before it starts ticking health on us. I'll see. I'll test out that, um... I'll test out the, uh, the torch real fast while I'm here. Okay, so it definitely keeps you warm for a bit. I don't know how long that lasts, though. I'm not sure how long that lasts. Wow, that keeps you, uh, surprisingly warm. <laughs> Can you let the, light this on fire? What about these? Should I test it? <laughs> hey, Kitten, what's up, man? How are you, dude? We decided to, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to throw that at the thing. <laughs> well, why don't we save real fast? I <laughs> uh, didn't mean to do that, kitten. It's good to see you. Hello, man. Happy, uh, happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody who's here, by the way. If I don't wish you well already. How much of a completionist am I? Not so much. Okay, I didn't throw it. I didn't throw it. I didn't. All right. Yeah, this is uh, very helpful. Okay, let's examine the map. We need to go this way. We need to go this direction. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Oh, these guys are coming in hot. Oh, what? Why are there snowballs all of a sudden? Where did the snowballs come from? Excuse, excuse me. Keys eyeball. Where are these, the, where are these snowballs coming from? Beg your pardon? Oh, hi. Oh, our torch is badly damaged. Correct. Torch broke. This is bad. Let's, uh, let's eat some, uh, some hot food. Yeah, this will this will be fine. Uh, let's put on the broadsword. Okay, we are going to blue. Okay. Grass is totally- yeah, I've seen- I've actually- I have seen that before. I've seen the grass catching fire in some places. They actually even warn- like, one of the early things that they tell you in- in, uh, that old guy tells you about the torch is that you gotta be careful or whatever, because you could set fire to grass around you. Almost all shrines have two chests. One normal straightforward one, and one's- one's a bit more hidden. Okay. Are we gonna make it? Oh good, we can wait a second. There we go. Uh oh, maybe running up this just before I started climbing was not the best decision. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I guess I uh, over, over uh, approximated how much stamina it would take, you know, to climb. Only the dry grass, okay. Okay, so we... Why don't we take a peek here real fast? There's our, 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 our pin. Climb down. Oh, hang on. Is there, a, is there a means with which I can climb down a little bit more... Quickly? A little bit more efficiently? I want to let go so bad because it's faster, but I'll probably take it, take damage, right? Never mind, we're fine. It's totally fine. All right, we're getting close. Yeah, dude, kitten, it's good to see you, man. How'd you popped in, dude? I know you're a big Zelda fan, so.
I'm gonna grab these other items really fast. I've been actually using those to, uh, as a weapon a bit here. Where did that pin, that pin go? I think we were on the cusp just now of, uh, taking some fall damage. All right, we just have a more expensive. Oh no, we have one more, one more cheap guy. It's over here. What's down there? Are they down there? Oh, they are. Oh no! <laughs> that was a mistake. I don't mean to do it. Let's check the chest real fast. <laughs> that scared me, man. I didn't mean to fall down. Oh, scared me, chat. I definitely did not mean to do that, by the way. Kind of close-ish. I think I need to go back up this way. I just wanted to throw the boulder down on him. That's all I wanted in the chest. There we go. Okay. And our our, our high-end weaponry is uh, is messed up now too. Let's switch to a club. There's all kinds of boulders up here we could have used instead. This game is just incredible, man. Just the, how vast the uh, landscape is. All right, what's the best way down here? Can we climb? Oh my gosh. Oh, we only took one heart. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I'll take it. I'll take it, it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, what I aim? Yeah, it's gonna be good. Pin the other shrine. I'll I'll do it when we come out. <clears throat> All right, what are we getting this time? What kind of special ability? On our PDA. On our iPod Touch. Oh, what's all this? Two sets foot in this shrine, I'm Oa Daim. Got us. Okay. It's always just introduction with the name. Stasis trial. Drip, drip. Stop the flow of time. Stop the flow of time. Yeah, that seems pretty powerful. Storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Wow. Very fancy stuff, man. All kinds of cool tools we get to use. Yeah, let's see this. No. Too soon. So you have to be a little bit careful. I don't know how you use it, it seems. Okay, at least it alerts you. Okay. 
Okay, so we can use the boulder. Anything up there that we oh there is a chest. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, Wavy? How you doing, man? Traveler Shield. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. So I'll we'll have to use this to move that as well. It's got off wow now see a thieves. Nice man. Oh, what is this? Iron sledgehammer? Works reasonably well as a weapon. Oh, you can't hit we gotta get rid of something for this, man. It's too good not to take with us. Let's get rid of one of these goofy arms. Uh select. Let's drop. Need that hammer. Now, Kitten said there's two chests in here, or in most, in most of these. Um, oh, we have to use the hammer on this, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Did I just waste a whole bunch of, uh, is it, what is it made of? I guess let's, let's find that out. Nope. It's not metal. We can't push it either. It did say something about storing the energy. You can pause it and build up energy. You can pause it. Did I waste a whole bunch of I wasted a bunch of durability on this thing too, didn't I? Oh, I see. Hang on a second. A little bit confused about that. Oh, there we go. Okay, got it. We figured it out just barely. Now you got me looking for two chests everywhere. Let me try that again. Let's just ones have one. Oh, okay. Got it. You're freezing it, then hitting it a bunch. The energy of those multiple hits is doing... Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I understand now. I got it. So, I w it's not that I was doing it incorrectly. And then... It's okay. I see. Very cool. Okay. Well, I, I think I understand now. That's cool. That's all I needed. So we could have, if we had used the sledgehammer, it would have worked a little bit more, a little bit faster. I got it. Okay. Very good to know. Thank you for the assists, guys.
<laughs> so proud of me. All right, we got the third herb. You get a free heal too, which is kind of nice. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. Now, the question is, do we explore some more? Or do we go back and talk to the old man? That's that's the question. Is that the original one we were on? Yeah, I think it is, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that was the first. Uh, maybe that was the second one we did. We didn't drop a pin in that, so hang on, what are we facing? Let me, let me pin that really fast, and then, uh... Let me see where it shows up on the map. Eastern Abbey. Okay, so this is definitely a different, a different one. Orange not done yet. Okay, so we definitely want to go, probably go hit that up. Let's go hit that up. What's the last junk food I ate? Oh man, it's been a while. I mean, we had frozen pizzas here at the house, but it's the last time like we went out to get food, it's been a long time, man. I mean, we get groceries and we cook food here and that's pretty much it. We have not ordered out food. Oh, I got cold instantly. Now it's warm. <laughs> now it's cold. All right, let's eat. Some, let's eat some food real fast. It's an overheal, but whatever, it's fine. Was there another one too? Hang on a second. Let me take a, a quick peek. There's something over here too. Climb down. We can. Beautiful. That's a longer drop. I think we would definitely take some hurting if we uh, jump dropped off of this. You need to be able to judge at what height. See, like I think we're safe to let go here. Yeah. Dude, these would be so difficult. <laughs> can you imagine? Just, I know it's, it's just a game, obviously, but can you imagine this, man? I'm scared of heights, too, so not like... Like, I can ride roller coasters and things like that, because I'm secure, right? I'm, like, harnessed in, or I have, like, something over me, protecting me, keeping me in place. But I am definitely scared of, like, unsuspended, like, unsecure heights, you know what I mean? Definitely makes me uneasy to think about that. Building. Temple of Time. I don't think we're we're probably not ready for this, right? Would it be safe to presume that we're not ready, quite ready for that? Temple of Time. Looks like there's all kinds of area to explore here. It 
probably head over there. Catch up with that. We got ourselves a little, a little something that we can fight here. Uh-oh. so hard apples we could bake up some apples here while we're here probably not a bad idea right what's that can we get honey out of this uh oh coarser bee honey honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients this cooking this uh, into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients to provide stamina recovery effect Okay. Not the bed. I do, I like the slower, heavier hitting weapons for sure. Definitely interesting to me. To uh, have combat with weapons like that in this game. The bees usually chase you, really? Oh my god, I don't know if I did that well or if I just got lucky, but... I'll take the end result anyway. Sucks not being able to get, um, to trust getting out of bed or coughing. What do you mean? How do you mean, Luscious? I whacked them. <gasps> A lizard. Where'd it go? <laughs> we need that. Where did it go, chat? We need to be able to catch that so we can cook it up. They disappear. They just straight up disappear, huh? It's unfortunate. It's a big bummer. What in the world? Uh oh. Some kind of security system. Let's go back out this way. I don't think we really need to be bothered with that anyway right now. We could probably deal with it, but Let's search what's this? Ancient shaft. A machine part used in okay, cool. So we get some parts that we can probably what? Build something later on. Ancient screw. Some kind of set. Well, it, it looked like some kind of security system. <laughs> I mean, it did. <laughs> I like teasing it a little bit. All right, hang on. Where are we? Are we close? It's like in there still, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, hello. Can I climb the wall? Please don't shoot me. <laughs> oh, we would have gotten vaporized. That's terrible news. <laughs> this is uh, terrible. Yeah, we're safe. It's fine. <laughs> ADT man, dude. Seriously. He's like, I've got my eye on you. <laughs> The natural cheese. You can deflect those lasers. I don't have like a mirror shield or anything like that, though. There we go. Yeah, I think you have like a mirror shield that you would need to use for something like that, I would think. Gotta learn how to parry. Yeah, perhaps. You could do it with any kind of shield. Okay. I'd be surprised if a little wooden shield, like, I don't know. I, I thought mirror shield of some kind, or some sort of metal shield, because it would seem odd that a wooden shield could repel something of, like, something like that, you know? It's just timing, okay. Well, I will keep it in mind. Thank you, guys. Wooden ones will break a lot faster if you use it for that. Okay. Little shield will break. You do it. Okay. 
Got it, got it, got it. Alright, I am Ja Rule. The Ja Rule Shrine. Oh, Luscious, I see what you're saying. Sorry, I just caught up with you a little bit. <laughs> the security side. I did, yeah. I did, in fact. Moist. It's very moist. Remote bomb? No. So you don't have to purchase bombs, you can just do remote bombs? What's that? This sound? Force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. <gasps> oh, happy day! <laughs> Unli unlimited. We have unlimited bombs. Unlimited. This can be a good old time chat. <laughs> Yep. No, I don't want to throw that. Why in the world did you do that? <laughs> Let's put, put on an arm or something instead. Owie. I didn't even get a second to run away from that. Hang on a second, I gotta check out some trash here. <laughs> really? Alright. Sorry, somebody- there was- something popped up in chat too. We had a ban. We had a- we had a- we had to take out some trash there for a second. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. That was luscious. Did you read that? Did you read that message? That was disturbing. Oh, cool. Hang on a second. Pick up. It's a remote. Bo it's a remote bomb. Trying to line this up just so. Chest. No, it was, um, it was all picked up by auto mod. Traveler's Claymore? Oh, it's a two-hander. This is a glorious day.